so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Yeah! Nice music! Woohoo! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and I was just grooving to some tunes. Check this out, though. <laughs> Do you see this? This is a tie-dye shirt, and today you and I are going to make a tie-dye shirt. Wow, it's so colorful. Let's list all these colors. Up top, there is the color blue. Yeah. And then below that, looks like it's the color pink or red. Pinkish red. <laughs> and then we have yellow, like the color of the sun. And then we have orange at the bottom. Do you see it? Whoa! This shirt is so groovy. <laughs> All right, let's go get some supplies and make our very own tie-dye shirt. Woo! <laughs> Check it out. We have all the materials and supplies we need to make our tie-dye shirt. <laughs> all right, we don't need this because we're gonna make one. <laughs> so, first you start with a white t-shirt. Yeah. Like this, see? And then you take a dye. Yeah, let's see, a fabric dye. This is the orange fabric dye. This one is red. This one is blue. This one is purple. And this one is yellow. <laughs> and then we have some rubber bands and you tie the shirt really tight. And then you spray the dye on it but you have to wear your gloves <laughs> or else your hands are gonna get stained. I don't want that. And then we have a bag for later. I'll show you what that's all about. And the water. Okay, so first step, we need to get the shirt wet. Just like that. Let's get it nice and wet. Wow, <laughs> that water's really cold. Okay. Squeeze out all the water. Whoa. <laughs> We're so strong. All right. And then let's lay the t-shirt out on the table. Yeah. And the cool thing about tie-dye is you can do so many different designs. And it's all about how you twist and crunch the shirt and wrap the rubber bands around it. So let's, uh, let's do a swirl. <laughs> I love swirls. Yeah, kinda like ice cream swirls. <laughs> I love ice cream. Okay, here we go. So you just twist it, swirl it. Oh, perfect. <laughs> wow, I am so excited to pick the colors. Okay. There we go. And then you have a nice bunched up shirt. You could even bunch it, but I chose to swirl it. And then you take these rubber bands and, and wrap them around the top and the bottom of the shirt, just like this. Yeah, this white shirt is gonna be so colorful. <laughs> All right, there's two rubber bands. Here is three rubber bands. Perfect. This is looking so good. And then here's the fourth rubber band. <laughs> wow. Will you count to four with me? Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> good job. All right, now we get to pick our colors. But remember, <laughs> let's put on our gloves. Okay, here we go. One glove. Two gloves. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> All right, let's see. We have a lot of colors. I know. I think I'm going to choose two colors. My two favorite colors. Do you know what colors they are? Yeah, I bet you do. Yeah, blue and orange. All right, here's the two colors. And then, uh, 
take the caps off. And then you get to squirt the shirt in whatever way you want. I'm gonna squirt some blue right there. I'll skip some and squirt some blue right there. How about some blue right there? <laughs> and some blue right there. Wow. The shirt was all white. But now what color is it? Yeah, there's two colors. Blue and white. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's give it a little more. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> All right, so then the other color, like I said, is orange. So let's squirt that white and get it nice and orange. There we go. Wow, we are doing so good. There we go. Perfect. Wow, amazing. Wow, this looks so good. Do you see it? We have blue and orange. <laughs> All right, set that down. And now you take the big plastic bag and you put the shirt in there. And close it up. And now we get a weight, but you have to keep it in here for at least six hours. You can even do it up to 24 hours if you wanted to. The longer you keep it in this bag, the darker and more vibrant the colors are gonna be. Hmm, I think we should probably wait eight hours. So, let's wait. Hmm, we're almost done waiting, but I think what we should do is mix two colors and see what color it makes. First, let's take our blue. Whoa, do you see that? Whoa, <laughs> that's awesome. Wow, blue water. Then let's take, how about red? Hopefully it doesn't spill on me because I don't have my gloves on anymore. <laughs> All right, here we go. Blue and red. Whoa, what color is that? I have my mixing tongs. <laughs> wow, yeah. Blue and red make the color purple. Wow, let's put a little bit more red in there. Wow, now it's a dark purple. Whoa, that's fun. Okay, well, I think our t-shirt has been in here for long enough. It's been about, yeah, multiple hours. So now I'm gonna go take this to the sink, take the rubber bands off and rinse it off. And then I'm gonna go put it in the dryer. <laughs> I'll be right back, okay? Wow, this is awesome. <laughs> Our shirt is complete. Wow, all right, here it is. Do you see it? Wow, yeah. It's blue and orange. Can you see how it, where I swirled it? Right about there. Wow, it's so cool. Time to try it on. <laughs> wow, how do I look? <laughs> that was awesome. I love making tie-dye shirts. Woo! <laughs> I sure do love tie-dye shirts. Whoa! Maybe now, at home, you can make your very own tie-dye shirt. <laughs> I am so excited to see the creation that you make. <laughs> all right, well, this is the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job, all right. See you later! Woohoohoo! Oh! Hey! It's me, Blippi! Do you see what I'm doing? I'm painting! Yeah, I'm actually painting just a regular cardboard box. Check it out! See? I took this cardboard box and I'm painting it. Do you know what I'm painting and making? 
I'm actually gonna make a lemonade stand. Yeah, I love lemonade. It's so yummy. But a lemonade stand isn't used just to drink your own lemonade. It's so then you can sell lemonade to others. <laughs> yeah. So the first thing that you have to do is make a very good looking lemonade stand so then everyone will want to come try your lemonade. So now that it's all painted, I have these yellow triangle ribbons. <laughs> and if I put them on here on the top, it will spark some more customers. <laughs> okay, let's put some tape right here. There we go. Wow. All right, you see these yellow triangles? Yeah, what is the color yellow that you can think of? Lemonade! <laughs> also, the sun is the color yellow. Okay, there we go. And then we actually have a little bit more of this. Wow, have you ever tried lemonade before? It's really tasty. It's weird because if you just eat a normal lemon, it's really sour. Oh. <laughs> but if you add a lot of water and then some sugar, it'll sweeten it right up and make a nice refreshing drink. Okay, how about right there? Whoa, it looks so good. All right, we have our lemonade stand, blue and orange, my two favorite colors. We added the yellow banners to bring in more customers, but all these customers are gonna be like, what's Blippi doing? <laughs> so we need to tell them what we're doing. We're gonna be selling lemonade, one dollar. <laughs> so let's put this right here. Perfect. How does this look? Can you tell what I'm here for? Yeah, to sell lemonade. All right, now that we built the stand, now we need to make some lemonade and then we can sell it. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, the first ingredient to lemonade is lemons. <laughs> there we go. So great that our friend has their very own lemon tree. That definitely saves us a lot of money when we calculate how much this lemonade cost us to make. Okay, all right, see this pitcher? We're gonna put a lot of water, sugar, lemons, and we're gonna spice it up with a little bit of raspberries to make raspberry lemonade. So the first thing that we need to do is to grab our lemons. Yeah, all right. And only grown-ups should use a knife. So we're going to first take a lemon. We're gonna cut it in half and use this device to squeeze out all of the juice. Just like this. Ready? Yeah, do you see all that lemon juice down there? Okay, let's do another. There we go. Whoa, this thing is just pressing out all of the juice. Oh, it looks so yummy. <laughs> I bet it'd be really sour though. <laughs> all right. I think that is plenty of lemon juice for our lemonade. All right, so we need to now pour this in our giant pitcher. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, it has a little bit of pulp, but that's okay. Okay, so the lemons were free. So this cost us zero dollars to make. <laughs> We're right on track. Okay, the next thing, let's add our water. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! It's 
a perfect amount. Okay. So the lemons were free. The water was 10 cents. Yeah. And now we need to sweeten it up. Because this is basically just like watered down lemon juice, which would be really tart and sour. <laughs> so what we have right here is sugar. Yeah, that's a really tasty ingredient. You don't want to eat too much sugar though. But for the lemonade, we're going to add six scoops. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> there we go. Let's put that aside. Here we go. <laughs> oh, this lemonade is complete. All you really need to make lemonade are lemons, water, and sugar. But we have that extra ingredient from earlier, remember? Raspberries. Yeah, we're gonna make raspberry lemonade. But before we add those, let's calculate how much this lemonade has cost us thus far. Well, the lemons were free because we have a great friend. <laughs> the water was 10 cents and then the sugar was 40 cents. So right now we're at 50 cents for this whole pitcher. Whoa, all right. Now we can add our raspberries. Woo, oh, <laughs> that's silly, one fell out. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna just use these. Ready? Here we go. Whoa, looks like they float. Whoa, raspberry lemonade. <laughs> okay, so now our total cost, let's calculate. So earlier it was 50 cents and these raspberries cost me 50 cents from the grocery store. So 50 cents plus 50 cents is $1. Wow, this whole pitcher cost us $1. All right, let's put in some ice <laughs> to chill it down so then we can go and sell it. The ice was free because our friend also has a freezer full of ice. So. Now that we have nice, cold lemonade, raspberry lemonade, we can go and sell it. I think there's about eight cups in here and our cost is $1. So eight cups, if we sell them for $1 would be $8. And if we minus $1, that's $7. Whoa, we're gonna make $7. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, we did it. We built this amazing lemonade stand. We made some tasty lemonade. Yeah, now it's time to sell some lemonade. Here we go. Lemonade, lemonade. Who wants some lemonade? Oh, I'd love some lemonade. Oh, okay. How are you doing today? Good, I'm a little thirsty. Ooh, really? Well, it looks like I might have something just for you. Oh. Fantastic. How much is it? It is one dollar. One dollar. I got that right here. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. What kind is this? This is not normal lemonade. It is raspberry lemonade. My favorite. I can't wait to try. Thank you. All right. See you later. Bye. Did you see that? You and I just made our very first lemonade sale. Good job. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun learning about business, how to make lemonade with you, and having fun along the way. <laughs> well, time to sell some more lemonade. <laughs> lemonade, lemonade, who wants some lemonade? <laughs> yeah! Oh, hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at what I have here. Whoa, this is a scale. Yeah, you put one thing on this side, and one thing on this side, or many things, and whatever way it tips will tell you what's heavier and what is lighter. Okay, let's try a really easy example. I'm gonna take these off. What do you think is heavier and what do you think is lighter? A feather <laughs> or a rock? Yeah, I bet, yeah, the rock is gonna be heavier than the feather. Ready? Yeah, 
Do you see how the rock is lower? Yeah, because this side is heavier. Okay, I have another idea. How about a bunch of these feathers? Whoa, yeah, that's a lot of feathers. <laughs> Whoa, and the feathers are so colorful. And to make it even, we need to add the carrying case on this side too. Okay, now let's see if all these feathers weigh more or less than this rock. Ready? Oh, that one rock is heavier than all of these feathers. Whoa. Whoa. That is so cool. Okay, let me put that rock over there. Put this back up here. Wow. We have to stay nice and clean and organized because we have a lot of things to weigh here. Hey, all right. Hey, check these out. What kind of fruit are these? Do you know? Yeah, this one is an apple. And this one is an orange. Yum! <laughs> I love fruit. And I love vegetables. Okay, let's see. Huh, they weigh roughly the same. I wonder what one's going to be heavier and what one's going to be lighter. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah. The apple is heavier. Wow. <laughs> and it's bigger. But that isn't always the case. Remember? Yeah, the feathers were so big, and then the rock was so small. But the feathers, yeah, were lighter than the rock. So it's all about density. Yeah, let's see here. Ooh, look at these. <laughs> wow, these are cubes. And they actually are pretty, whoa, <laughs> light. <laughs> wow, see, even one barely even tipped the scale. Okay, so let's go like this. Okay, there are four on that side. Actually, let's do three. <laughs> okay, now the same cubes on this side. Let's do five. What one do you think will be heavier? Yeah, you're right. Five cubes of the same size and same weight is heavier then three cubes of the same size and weight. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, all right, let's get back to weighing things. Okay, let's put these rocks over here. Let's gather up all the feathers. We need to pick up after ourselves. Perfect, put those right over there. <laughs> Although they're so cute and pretty. <laughs> okay, all right, now we have some dinosaurs. <laughs> We have a T-Rex. Ah. Okay, you can stand right there. Oh, how about you just take a nap? Just like that. <laughs> and then we have a Triceratops. Ah. Ah. <laughs> okay, let's see what toy weighs more. I don't know the actual dinosaur weight, but just for these toys, yeah. This T-Rex is heavier than the Triceratops. But what if we added a Brontosaurus to it? All right, are you ready? These are definitely heavier. <laughs> okay, we'll put those aside. All right, now we have an experiment. Okay, we have rice and we have water. So let's put the same amount of rice in a balloon compared to the water, the same amount. So let's do a quarter of a cup. And then we can see what one is heavier, which means which one is more dense because they're actually gonna be roughly the, the no, they will be the, the same size. Yeah, because one quarter of a cup is volume. Perfect, all right. <laughs> Sometimes it can be so confusing. <laughs> okay, 
All right, one quarter of a cup. Make sure it's nice and... What? Perfect. Okay. Oh, gotta set that down right here. Need to prep my balloon first. Perfect. There we go. Okay, gotta use the funnel or else it would be really dirty. <laughs> okay, here we go. One quarter cup. Let me tie it. Okay, now we'll do the water. All right. Okay, now we need one quarter of a cup of water. Whoa. I don't want to spill. Ready? nice and organized be sure to clean up all right now let me tie this okay so we use the same amount of volume one quarter cup of rice one quarter cup of water okay, now we get to do the fun part we get to put it on the scale and we get to see which one is more dense which one is heavier ready The blue was rice! Whoa! Rice is more dense than water! Whoa! Woo, woo, woo. Bing. Hey! Do you know what else is really heavy? Yeah! Construction vehicles are really heavy! Yeah, like this excavator or this front loader. Whoa, huh. this excavator is actually heavier than this front loader toy. Whoa, <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Since we're talking about weight and machines are really, really, really heavy. Let me think about a machine that is very heavy, low to the ground and can push everything out of its way. Do you know what machine that is? Yeah, look at the big front blade on it. Yeah, that is a bulldozer. Hey, I think we should learn and watch the bulldozer video. <laughs> bulldozer, clearing the land. Bulldozer, pushing rubble and sand. Bulldozer, constructing the roads. Move over, it's about to roll. It's a yellow tracked machine. Found on mines, farms, and factories. Most anything Bulldozers stirring up debris Bulldozers help the farmers work By breaking up rocks and digging in the dirt With the blade on the front and the claw on the back It can help you build a home just like that Whoa, it's on a roll Bulldozer Some rough terrain. They can move all kinds of things. Bulldozer, clearing the land. Bulldozer, pushing rubble and sand. Bulldozer, constructing the roads. Move over, it's about to roll. Bulldozer, clearing the land. Bulldozer, pushing rubble and sand. Maybe the rock will make it heavy enough. Whoa! 
It for sure was heavy enough. Wow, that was so much fun learning about weight with you. And also, bulldozers. Wow, those machines are so heavy. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, I'm going to clean up now. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Blippi. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Blippi. Blippi.